like a pro. A soaring CN Tower is seen from the waters of Lake Ontario. Along with the rest of beautiful downtown Toronto, our setting today. Round one of the East rolls on. Game two, just about ready to tip off. Playoff basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. D.A. will join us tonight on the sideline. D.A., it's all yours. For a long time, the Raptors playing in Canada was seen by some as a detriment to their competitive prospects. Players dealt with issues like passports, different money, going through customs, and on and on. But now the Raptors use it as a strength, not as a weakness. They have a whole nation behind them. And they have Toronto, a diverse city with global engagement. Kevin? And the game is going global. You're right. Thank you, D.A. So the next starting five, Irving and Lavert are at the one and two. Allen is out there with Durant, and it's Jordan in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Toronto, Siakam at power forward with Gasol at center. Lowry and Powell, the guard. And it's Johnson in at the three slot. He'll be the Nets off the tip. Irving with the ball. Pass to KD. Six to shoot. Back to Irving. The shot's good. And Durant just great at picking apart the defense. When they leave one of his guys open, he is quick to get the ball to them. Now, here's Siaka. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Allen. And here are the Raptors now. Johnson outside. Powell, no one around him. Off target with his three. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. And Durant is a flat-out ball, showing off his wily strength on these tough finishes. He's a thin guy, but he's a strong guy. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And Durant finally captured that elusive first championship in 17. And the finals MVP trophy to boot. An effortless scorer who has also made great strides defensively. Now here's Lowry. And he banks in the lane. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Moving against Lowry. And there's the pass to Levert. Up top, Durant. Shot clock at six. Over Siakam. Another one falls for Brooklyn. And Durant has just such a fluid release. Very efficient shooting the ball from that mid-range. The drive by Lowry. Plays it up and banks it in. Yeah, going hard to the rag, making a statement here early on. Yeah, that's how he rolls. I mean, intimidate the opponent right now. Now here's Irving. Allen finds KD over Johnson. And there's KD. That's good on the assist by Allen. And that's now seven points for Kevin Durant. Lowry against Irving. Lowry passes to Powell. And a miss there on the triple. Brooklyn leading by five. Passes it to Levert. Plays it up off the glass. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Nobody near Irving. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Toronto. Powell, the pass to Siakam. Stolen by Allen. Irving with the ball. Lowry picks him up. 
Here's LeVert. Good D by Siakam. Look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. Their offense came out big in Saturday's game. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. And, you know, the guys on the bench have great confidence in themselves. And when their name was called, they were ready to compete and contribute. For the Raptors. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Gasol. OG Ananobi comes in for Pascal Siakam. Andre Hollis Jefferson, he's checked in for Stanley Johnson. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lauer. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Wilson Chandler's checked in for Jordan. Torian Prince comes in for Kevin Durant. Joe Harris is checked in for Karis Levert. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Irving. Van Vliet kicks to Powell. With some arc, and the layup is good. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Harris passes to Allen. Dishes it to Dinwiddie. Lock at six. Here's Prince. Nets with a new shot. Whoa. What a chance! about the hops for a guy that long. Allen enjoying throwing it down like that. Bam! Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. The shot misses. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. Harris outside. Pass to Allen. It's over Powell. Allen, that's good. Allen's got his second bucket of the night. Well, I like seeing Allen get this kind of position because you give him the rock there, and he can take care of the rest. The shot by Powell, no good. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Chandler, good, and Harris gets the assist. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high-percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. And offensively, Ibaka's been spending more time out on the perimeter, but, but watching him work inside there, you realize that may still be his bread and butter. And that does it for the first quarter. Nets lead by seven. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Best point guard, Kyrie Irving had this to say about his competition. In 2011, I came into a league where the point guard position was still being revolutionized, and now guys are solidifying that spot every single year. There are young guys coming in, but now we have established point guards that are franchise-changing point guards. And for me, having that competitive drive every single game, I know I'm going against an elite point guard every single game. So I think that now coming into the league, it's a lot different than it was before. Some say, Greg, a golden age at the point guard position. Yeah, and Irving right there with the best of them. Uh, he embraces the challenge. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. 
And uh, from Brooklyn guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when the team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Nets. On the perimeter, Harris and Prince. Wilson Chandler out there with Allen, and it's Dinwiddie in at the one. And so it's Brooklyn with it after Toronto picking up the basket just moments ago. Here is outside. Prince up top. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Allen dishes to Dinwiddie. Chandler outside. A three. A shot that time, not on target. Now, Toronto takes it the other way. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Now, here is Ibaka. And that's going to be a travel. And some changes here for the Raptors. Pascal Siakam comes in for OG Ananobi. And it's Lowry in for Norman Powell. Then for the Nets, Jordan, he's checked in for Allen. Durant comes in for Wilson Chandler. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Prince. Irving finds Durant. That one a little long. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Durant against Siakam. In the corner, it's Van Vliet. Launches a three. Brooklyn with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Hollis Jefferson passes to Lowry. Back to Hollis Jefferson. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. And, you know, Lowry looks to set up his open teammates beautifully. Nice dime there, and it really keeps the team tied together nicely. Timeout called the Nets. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Marcus all check in for Toronto. Stanley Johnson comes in for Hollis Jefferson. And the Nets also making a change. Karis LeBert's checked in for Dinwiddie. Here's KD. Misses and the dry spell continues. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Yeah, and it doesn't take much elevation for Gasol to throw one down, of course, unless somebody's standing right in his way. That dunk is going to be easy money for him. Well, that's why they're in front. Uh, aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. Here's Irving. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Irving's got his second buck. And with that basket right there, it brings an end to that 12-0 run by the Raptors. Back to Lowry. The pass to Van Vliet. Looking for Gasol. He gets it there. Over Jordan. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Defensive player of the year back in 2003. Gasol entered the league with a raw skill set, a lot of size, and we've seen the determination. And a chance to catch up on some Take numbers here. The Take scoring break. breakdown Two for shot. Toronto. Really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Now here's Durant. He has seven. 
rebound by Johnson. Boy, oh, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. And tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Harris kicks to Durant. Over Siakam. And the shot is good. The Raptor lead has been cut down to just four points with a bucket from Durant. Set up on a platter that time by Harris. A room service dine right there. Gasol finds Lowry. Let's a floater go. It's hauled in by DeAndre Jordan. And if they're thinking, they can get a two-for-one here. Well, we'll see if they have the awareness to realize that. Pass to Levert. Back to Irving. A three ball. Gasol with the rebound. Raptors leading by four. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And Durant puts up a deep three, and that one released in time, but no good. And so it's Toronto with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Kyle Lowry. Kyle, you came out strong to take advantage in the first half. Were you pleased with the effort? Yeah, uh, we got to keep it up. Our defensive intensity has to stay high. That has led to some great play at the other end. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're uh, sitting there's in. There's only three of us. Went, and, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Oh, uh, that's what I'm talking about. For the Raptors, after falling into a 1-0 hole to start the series, they look to be getting back on the right track here tonight. And it's crucial that they do hold on to this halftime lead because falling behind 2-0 would leave them with a very steep hill to climb. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, I like that they're aggressively going to the rack. That establishes an attitude, a certain toughness. They just need to stay committed to their game plan. And over to Shaq. What do you think about Brooklyn? They didn't get much help from the bench, Ernie. They can really use that spark to balance the load. Tonight you get the job done with your starters, but you can't depend on them to do everything. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. We've seen Kevin Durant really have a great game. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this one. He really eats that stuff up. Lowry and Powell to go. Siakam at power four with Gasol at center. And it's Johnson in at the small forward position. That's the five out there for the Raptors. I like seeing Durant slam that one down. I mean, he's just powering it home thanks to that incredible position. Here is Lowry after the basket by Brooklyn. Here's Gasol. A rebound by the Nets. Jordan's got his fourth rebound in this one. KD with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. KD dishes to Irving. Has to Levert from downtown. No good that time. And Toronto will come the other way. Here's Powell. Levert grabs the miss. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. Oh for their first three attempts. Pass to Jordan. That's 
good. That's Levert with the assist. Boy, Karis Levert has done a nice job elevating his playmaking ability, which helps him and his team. There's the pass to Pop. And the Raptors miss again. I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. KD's shot is off. Toronto, they've gone 0-4 from the field in the second half. Yet to find the mark. Johnson finds Lowry. Rebounded by the Nets. Offensively, the struggles continue. 0 for 5 to start the half. And on the way from Irving for three, knocks down the three ball. Irving's got seven. Yeah, the easy hoop assisted by Allen that time. He's developed a nice passing game. So timeout called here, the first for Toronto. You know, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Some changes for Toronto. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Gasol. OG Ananobi comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Rondé Hollis Jefferson in for Stanley Johnson. Then for the Nets, Wilson Chandler's checked in for Jordan. Torian Prince comes in for Kevin Durant. And Spencer Dinwiddie's up in for Karis LeVert. Skilled at creating off the drive. Dinwiddie's confidence and focus when he's penetrating, superb. Powell against Dinwiddie. Lowry passes to Powell. Will it go? Brooklyn with the rebound. Allen's got his sixth rebound on the night. Prince misses. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. There's Hollis Jefferson. Unable to get that one. Good D by Irving. Here's Dinwiddie, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the foul goes against Toronto. You know, the next step for Dinwiddie is to just become more consistent going forward, especially when it comes to scoring, because I think he does everything else Shoot pretty two. well. That free throw, no good. And the Raptors making a change here. Van Vliet's checked in. Second free throw, good. Raptors trail by four. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And play stops, whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Harris has checked in for the Nets. Inside, Chandler. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Toronto's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Passes it to Van Vliet. Ibaka outside. Five on the clock. Lowry inside the line. And again, Toronto no up. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Allen gets to Dinwiddie. Takes it off the glass. Dinwiddie's got five. I can't find an excuse for letting Dinwiddie get this positioning inside. I mean, once he has it, you're toast. Toronto calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Van Vliet can't get it to go. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. 
Now here's Chandler. The Nets need to get a shot off here. And there's the foul. And it's on Jorian Prince. That is his first foul of the game. Siakam is checked in for Ananobi. Jordan, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And so Siakam will bring it up for Toronto. Still looking for their first bucket of the second half. Ibaka outside. And again, no good by Toronto. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. Now, here's Lowry. They could use a bucket. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Harris. And here is Chandler. Here now is Dinwiddie. He has five. From deep three-point range. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We've got more in store for you right after this. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feed. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. On the court for the Nets getting the fourth quarter going. Prince and Durant are at the three and the four. Dinwiddie runs the point with Lavert flanking him. And it's Jordan in at the five spot. And it's Durant missing. Raptors trail by six. Down low. Siakam up top. Defended by Durant. They get it back. A second chance effort. He can't get that one. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. From deep. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. And it was maybe a step out of his range. Now here's Prince. Here's the dish to Jordan. Burnett's working the ball around now. Buries it down low. And that's 13 points for KD. And how about the body control by Durant? Takes the hit, but able to adjust. Yet another thing that makes him special. Toronto calls timeout. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Now he's checked in for Toronto. And then for Brooklyn. Allen's checked in for Prince, and Irving subbed in for Spencer Dinwiddie. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Coach Nick Nurse talked to his team. He got on his guys about allowing too many paint points. He said, hey, we've got to be scrappy. We've got to be quicker to help, quicker to collapse the lane. You guys know what to do. Now you got to give me the effort. I want to see some nasty. Kevin? That free throw good from Gasol. Nets leading by five. Irving dishes to Jordan. Pass to Levert. Let's it go from deep. And no good that time. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. 
Powell finds Lowry. The pass to Gasol. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got three assists now in this one. Boy, the confidence of Gasol on the block is really impressive to see. I mean, once he gets good positioning, he goes right to work. Perfect. Sinks that one from the post. And the Nets lead by five. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Lowry inside the line. Brooklyn with the rebound. Jordan's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Levert. And the layup's good off the glass. Now it's a seven-point Nets lead. And Levert is always aggressive. I like that mindset of his, especially in how he drives to the rim playing downhill. Goes there with a lot of speed. Now, here's Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. Oh, that's great TNT, baby. Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. I'll tell you what, you hate to be the guy having the responsibility of guarding him. I mean, Irving is so fast on the drive. Even when he gets hit, he still finishes nicely around the rim. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Brooklyn. And they What's haven't up? been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. It's been a hot shooting night for them, too. I mean, they've hit a lot of those mid-range jump shots. Free throw. Good, Irving. I don't know if there's a player in the league that has better handles than Kyrie Irving. As a matter of fact, his handles are as good as any I've seen in the history of the game. Smooth, crafty, cunning. Man, it is so much a joy to watch this guy do his thing. Here's LaVert. Following the basket by Pascal Siakam. LaVert the pass to Jordan. Irving for three. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Irving's got the lead up to nine now for Brooklyn. A lot of time left for the Raptors in this one. Now, here's Siakam. A stupendous finish in traffic. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Irving against Lowry. Here's KD, and then Durant with the top. And Irving is comfortable running the offense. When a teammate's open, he's quick to whip it around and get him a good look. Now, here's Siakam. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. That's one he knows he should have drained. Lowry against Irving. Durant gets to Irving. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Johnson down low. KD's on him. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. It's tipped. Out of bounds. Next ball as Brooklyn keeps possession. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. On defense, Toronto. They trail by nine points. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep. To have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And here's Brooklyn. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's Irving. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave.
Thanks very much, Kyrie. Nice win tonight. What was your thought process coming into the game? Uh, you know, I was just going out there trying to compete on every play, uh, trying to play as much defense as possible. Uh, you know, just sticking to our game plan. We had a game plan going in and we executed. Got it done at both ends of the floor, Kyrie. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, that'll do it for now. And you can join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long.